more things change, the more they stay the same. And Cork fans this year rejoiced at the familiar sight of Billy Morgan on the sidelines. Kerry, though, had a new attitude after the relative failures of the previous three seasons and a new man at the helm, Jack O'Connor. Seamus Moynihan. And there's the Kerry scoring chances. They've taken two out of the four they've created. And this might be another one. And it is from Colin Cooper. They free it up beautifully here. Coming through the centre, Kirby. And that's so of the ball. Great point by William Kirby. Gooch, aware of the support play. Hassett's there. There are others available as well. O'Sullivan, that's Dicklin O'Sullivan off the post. It's a 45. So the old enemy was beaten, but Kerry couldn't rest on their laurels. A new force had risen in Munster football. Limerick had reached their second Munster final in a row and were determined to end the kingdom's dominance. We're ready to go in the 2004 Munster Senior Football Final. Who will it be? Will it be Kerry for the 69th time or will it be Limerick for the first time since 1896? And it's Stephen Lucy for Limerick. And that was a bit loose from Lucy. And here comes Liam Hassett, Colin Cooper. Here's a chance for Mike Frank Russell, oh, what a great goal! Limerick's great start has been wiped out by a lethal forward on top of his game. That is just what it takes to win championship games. Two lethal forwards, good pass one to the other and into the back of the... Limerick cannot afford to give away soft options like that. Kerry have shown their skill in front of goal with Mike Frank Russell Stephen Lavin sending that in Limerick have made a very very positive start Connor Fitzgerald Fitzgerald going for the point and getting it well that has taken some effort and some character as well from Limerick John Quan all the way across it's John Galvin going after it and Galvin has it really well played by Galvin into Stephen Lavin Lavin has scored a goal for Limerick. Unbelievable stuff. Up from left half back. And Limerick, we heard all week, they believed. The fans will believe it now as well. A terrific goal, taken like a corner forward. What a finish. Mike O'Brien moves at a good distance to Connor Fitzgerald, who's away from Mark O'Shea. Fitzgerald on the turn, he's got it, that is a peach of a point and quite a response to Okanada's free for Kerry now Owen Brosnan injecting some taste into the Kerry attack movement ahead, some really good movement, Cooper looking for Brosnan still going, but just bouncing off Owen Brosnan, that's a great point absolutely superb and if Kerry needs some inspiration maybe that's the moment Darrow Shea taking Johnny Crowley will be into this Munster final shortly. Colin Cooper. Marco Reardon is the Limerick defender. Cooper. Oh, wow. That is a bit special from Colin Cooper. Limerick and Kerry were level with 10 minutes to go. Fitzgerald, a really lively customer. Didn't throw it. Here's Jason Stokes. Stokes settling himself. They need this point, Limerick. And they've got it. Fantastic response. They lead again. And is this to be their day at last? Tommy Griffin again, Griffin at own Keating behind. Will there be a foul? He's overcarried the ball. It's a free out. We have to be heading for a replay now. Yeah, I think they were unlucky there again. I think his interpretation was quite dodgy there. That looked a foul. And there is the whistle for full time. We'll have to do it all again. Another time and another place. Jack O'Connor is out. Remonstrating with Jerry Kenevy, the referee, about decisions perhaps made, those crucial decisions towards the end. Jerry Kenevy, as you can see, getting a guard escort to leave the field, but Jack O'Connor does not look at all happy. Limerick made a fantastic start to the replay, hitting the back of the net early in the first half. But soon Kerry were flooding all over the Shannon Siders, Owen Brosnan making the breakthrough after a fine move. 
Even the defenders got in on the act, with Tomas O'Shea finishing neatly beyond Seamus O'Donnell. Limerick were left to lick their wounds whilst Kerry did what they do best. They lifted the cup. Nineteen seventy seven and all that, this should have been the glamour tie of the round. And indeed Dublin started as if the seventies were only yesterday, creating goal chances aplenty. First for Jason Sherlock. Then Alan Brogan was denied. Then Kieran Whelan went on a typical run without the typical finish. But when Kerry sense weakness, they go for the jugular, and Darrow Okanagy showed that finishing is a matter of right place, right time. From there on in, the result wasn't in doubt, especially with Gooch Cooper in form. A late consolation goal for J.O. proved to be little consolation for Tommy Lyons. <laughs> Derry were rank outsiders for this one, but Kerry didn't like playing against northern sides. Would the kingdom crumble? And it is going to be Derry, who will play from right to left, wind supported for the opening 35 minutes. Tony Davis alongside me is having a right good look around here to see any switches or changes, as it is Derry who launched the first attack with Patsy Bradley. Referee says play away. Darrow O'Shea does so, trying to bustle his way through, trying to establish mastery over Derry this time, unlike last year when Tyrone really established the early mastery and uh, got the scores. That's a great opening point by Darrow O'Shea. Back to McBride again. Belted in with the left. Good lengthy delivery. It's a huge one in. But Paddy Bradley trying to make an angle for himself. Back towards Muldoon. Looking to tie it up and Ender Muldoon has done it. Great kick by Muldoon, wonderful interplay between the two main target men for Derry. Back once again to Tomas O'Shea, mopping up a lot of loose ball. Pressure on the full back line, McCusker drops it to Colin Cooper. On the left foot, looking for a point, he's got it. Good score by Colin Cooper, mistake by Derry's fullback Niall McCusker to allow him the opportunity. Muldoon does well against Mike McCarthy. He's uh, about 20 metres out, loses it, regains com control. It's a shot! It's a goal! End of Muldoon! In the 14th minute! Well, there's been a belief among Derry fans that if they were going to win this one, they would have to score goals. This is number one, and the defence was all over the place. So those who said, if you take on the Kerry full back line, you can cause problems, Derry would seem to have given us a fair view on that uh, assertion. Now Pori Kelly, the half back line of Derry have suddenly taken over. Muldoon's in after this, and he swept it well and put it over the bar. Paddy Bradley rather. A second point for Paddy Bradley. Back with Paddy Bradley, a huge one, and it's over the bar. Third point of the match for Paddy Bradley. Nice ball inside here. Tomas O'Shea takes the shoulder, and look at the Derry players around him. Fergal Gardy trying to get it out. It's one back by William Kirby, belting it, and he belts it over the bar. Kirby is the scorer. Eamon Fitzmaurice. Released back from Kirby, it's Galvin who's powering his way forward again. Tracked by Francis McEldowney, trying to step out of the challenge. That's a nice kick by Galvin, and the teams are level. Third time they've been level in the match. 
Once again, it's Paul Gallagher trying to skip by the attention of Francis McEldowney. From also Shea belting it from some distance. It's a great kick. Well, his adventurous spirit is paying off in the attack. They need him back also. Barry Gillis. Goal hasn't been under real threat so far. Galvin winning it back again for Brosnan to hit this one between the post and over. Second attack of the second half for Kerry yields a score and it's nine points to one four. Again, there's good control being exercised by Kerry as they work it down to Tommaso Shea again. And he's kicked another point. Great play by the wing back. Two kicks at the target now by Tommaso Shea from on Veltot. August Rochulin Fachte Age. Just a little bit of confusion as to what they're planning to do. Marco Shea for Owen Brosnan. Nicely down for Darrow Kinney. The quick little one two. Dunfrey release to Mike Frank Russell. And it's over the bar. Great point from Mike Frank. Coming up to it again is Mike McCarthy. He's enjoying this roving roll. Out again to Cooper. Right into the corner from Mike Frank. Can he finish again here? He can. What a display of forward power in the second half by Kerry. Only 12 and a half minutes are gone and they're quite devastating. Here comes Pad Paddy Bradley. Between the Paddies and the Patsies, they get it into Paul McFlynn. That's a decent kick by Paul McFlynn, and it's over the bar. They have gone 30 minutes without scoring in the game, and they finally get a point, and it's 14 points to 1 5. Mike Frank Russell, lovely pass, crisply delivered in for Cooper. Good hands, nice turn, great score. That's quite devastating, and Derry do not have an answer. There is no response to that brilliance. Sheer class on view here at Croke Park. Well, the first ten minutes of the second half really set the trend. Kerry were not going to be beaten. As Brosnan has his jersey pulled, free is quickly taken to Declan O'Sullivan. Back in once again towards Paddy Kelly. Well, he missed the last time, so uh, he fancies his chances, and why not? Good point by Paddy Kelly. Outside to Cooper. Gooch with a long hand pass delivery for Declan O'Sullivan. Trying to round short Marty, does so. In on the end line, trying to finish it off, trying to walk it all the way in. Is he giving it? He is. Declan O'Sullivan. For a moment, it looks like he was going to walk it all the way in. As we can see here, he takes on Sean Marky Locker. Hops the ball. I, th I think he might have taken too many steps with it, but he finishes it well and he went a goal stand. It's also his first shot on the target and a goal after 30 minutes of the second half. Bradley trying to set something up. Fergal Doherty trying to curl it. That's a good kick. Beautiful point by Fergal Doherty. The man from Delahi getting his first score here. There it is. Kerry have beaten Derry in the Bank of Ireland All Ireland football semi finals of Grove Park. All Ireland final day, the showpiece of the year. For Kerry, it was their natural environment. These were footballers bred to play on the last Sunday in September. Mayo had fans flying back from all over the world and the support of every neutral in the stadium. Would it be enough? Final is underway. And straight away, it is William Kirby of Kerry trying to set up the first attack. Nice ball ahead towards O'Sullivan once more. And James Nallon is going to have to tie him down. Nallon gets a shoulder in. Still it's O'Sullivan. Good strength. Holds it up here for Marco Shea. And that's it. He set up the attack and he finished it as well. Great play by Marco Shea. Next into challenge was Liam Hassett. Linking up here with Giron MacDonald. MacDonald challenged by Fitzmaurice, about whom there was a slight doubt before the game. Good looking shot. It's a huge one. What a point. That's one to lift the crowd, that's one to lift the team. Kieran McDonald from Crespo 
first kick. And it goes sailing over brilliantly. Look how he shrugged aside the attentions of Fitzmaurice and hit a belter. Two men to Evan inside. It's goes fast up. It's in there for Alan Dillon. Here's Dillon. What a goal! Only four minutes are gone. And Mayo go in front. Once again, questions were asked of the Kerry full back line, and once again they were found wanting. The ball skidded along there. Dylan took up a good position, rounded the goalkeeper, and simply couldn't miss. Just watch that, Joe. Just watch composure, composure, and composure as he slotted it into the goal. And away they come again, riding their luck somewhat. Comes out as far as Pat Kelly, swings it away, but only as far as William Kirby. Outside of the boot by Kirby, and that one has gone over the bar. The midfielder looked around after he hit that one, but it was a very good score. The fans are happy, and it's 1-1 to three points. Alan Dillon going short. There's still a point on. Maloney kicking, and Maloney scoring. First point of the match for Brian Maloney. He's only scored three points in this year's league, so or this year's championship so far. That's a vital one. They've got Charlie Crowley through. And Okineda kicking. The angle shot's got over the bar. Good point by Okineda. Far and Magoyapukta giving the lead. And the teams are level. Again, if you notice, actually, just before that, uh, Gooch slipped the ball neatly down to, uh, I think, uh, Johnny Crowley and set up the assist. But again, the ball coming in high between Garrity and Gooch is causing trouble for Mayo. Oh, that one was punched over there by Darrell Kinnada. That's his fifth point. What a great start the Kerry captain has made. Two of them from play. Three of them from freeze. Dropping away left to stay in play. Nicely held it to Johnny Crowley. They're feeding it up. Hassett was coming into it. And uh, it's Cooper who got the kick to it. The point is by Colin Cooper. His first of the match. There was a couple of players there ready for it, Hassett and Cooper. Cooper the one who made the connection. Back towards Mortimer once again. Middle of the field, however. Kieran McDonald trying to make some headway. Held up, free being awarded. McDonald outside of the boot, swinging it in all the way in. It's a huge one. A second point of the match for Kieran McDonald. One from play, one from a free, and each of the points from a massive distance out. It's an absolute incredible strike of the ball. Okineda jumping high, fisted away, Heaney winning it, out as far as O'Sullivan. Angle is tight, he does really well, great score. Excellent play by a wonderful player, Declan O'Sullivan from Drummond Pierces. And it's nine points to 1-3. Well, that was a bad kick away by Fergal Kelly. And now the pressure is on with Gooch. And Cooper has put it over the bar. And it all came from a slack ball away in midfield by Mayo when they should have had control of the situation. Cooper's second point. Eamon Fitzmaurice. Huge one down towards Cooper. What a lovely catch. Beautiful fluency. Taking on Kelly. He can get a goal here. And he does. 25 minutes are gone. That is his fifth goal in championship football. Gooch Cooper with his first of the season here. Easily taking it past. A hapless defence, he exposed their limitations, he ran through and belted it in past Peter Burke. Kerry started well, Mayo came back, but then it was all of Kerry, William Kirby and his colleagues enjoyed, enjoyed the lion's share of possession and the score at the break, Kerry won 12, Mayo won 4. Eventually, it's Trevor Mortimer, he couldn't hold it. Over there supporting it was Michael Conroy. Nice ball in, here's a chance. 
Real opportunity for Conor Mortimer. And that one's over the bar. Might have ended up in the back of the Kerry net. Huge one down towards Johnny Crowley. And uh, was that ball picked up by Darrow Kinnead illegally? The referee was quite close to it, inside towards Crowley again. Back it comes to William Kirby, having a go at it, and why not? It's his second point of the match. Two from two from William Kirby. Johnny Crowley always coming, breaking it down for Gooch, Colin Cooper kicking. That's brilliant. Great carry play. He's got a goal at four. Well, when the ball went in, there was the understanding that Crowley would go in and contest. If he couldn't catch, he'd break, and Cooper would be available. He always is. This is it. It's been working before, and it's working again. Again, it's so simple, Jerry, but again, let's admire the skill of Colin Cooper that time. Some of the fans making their way off. They've decided that that's it at 1.15 to 1.5. Again, it's O'Sullivan turning, marking his slack. Turn back towards Galvin. Again, there's support play with Cooper. Off on the trademark solo run, taking on Kelly. Now a quick look up. There's a point here if he wants it. He does, why not? 1-5 for Colin Cooper in a real man of the match display. Well, the wonderful young Dr. Crokes player from Killarney. Well, certainly Colin Cooper has kept great interest, has kept an interest in the game alive because the sense of contest has gone from it. But just watching him at the moment is worth the admission money alone, Joe. It'll be a real lesson for the likes of Michael Conroy here. If they can build upon it and if they can learn from the experience, that's the super point there. Kicked over. It's hard to get an All Ireland. Kerry have shown that. They've been simply brilliant. Wonderfully expansive play, wonderfully expressive. And there again comes William Kirby, bang on cue, in for his third. He got four in the league, he's three so far, and he's got another ten minutes left to play. Why not? Huge one in. McGarrity trying to make headway, still trying to bustle his way through. Six men around him, comes back out. Great save that time by Dermot Murphy from the under-21, Michael Conroy. Oh, frustration. Agony indeed for the fans. It would have put a better final look on the scoreboard at the end of 70 minutes, but good save. Great save that time again by Dermot Murphy. And again, a snapshot from Michael Conroy, a young lad coming in for his first game. Fabulous save. This might change with David Brady. Dishing it off here, Mortimer. The finish, the style belted in and it's Michael Conroy for his troubles it's come in the last minute of the game but the under 21 star Michael Conroy at the end of a very fine move by Mayo David Brady offloading it outside here Trevor Mortimer stepping by the challenge of Aidan Amani and it came back and a good thump by Michael Conroy into the back of the carry net And their trainer, Pat Flanagan, should take an awful lot of credit for that as Mike Frank Russell gets his first point in stoppage time on a great day for the Kingdom. <laughs> Kerry have done all they had to do and played some fantastic football. It was champagne fair from Jack O'Connor's team.